Welcome back to the sawmill, friends. I was not gonna make a video today because I've got a lot of sawing to do. I got several logs over here to mill up. But I saw this maple and I think it's gonna be something pretty special. If not, forget what I just said, but I think it's gonna be a really nice log. Let me show you what we got to work with. Now this log has been here for about a year. I like to let my maples lie on the ground and have a chance to spot unless I have a dire need for it. I got this from a local log yard and I, I think if I remember right, it seems like he said he'd had these for a long time. So who knows how long they've been down for. But judging by the end grain right here, when I pulled this out of the log pile this morning, there's a lot of potential here, friends, for a lot of spotting. I can see signs of that all around the sapwood here. There's a lot of signs of that when you look at the log on the outside, it's really punky, which means it's spotting and hopefully it's not gonna to be too soft. But right here in the middle, it's still really hard right there, guys. We should get some really good boards out of it. And based on the age of this log, it should be heavily spotted. I'm gonna saw these on five quarters, so that's an inch and a quarter if you're new to this channel. Joe Main Silver Tip Turbo 7 on the sawmill. If you want those blades, give him a phone call. His cell phone number is down in the video description. It's an average width, nothing too crazy. Got a lot of taper going on. That's why I got my tow board right here. We tried to get rid of most of that taper here on the first cut before we flip at 180. Somebody asked in the last video down in the comments while I was talking about my merchandise if I had a t-shirt with a pocket. Well, I sure do, guys, and there's a link down below. Whoever asked that, you can go check it out. There's a link down below in the video description and the top comment to all my merchandise, the hats, the stickers, the shirts, and all that stuff. All right, friends, based on what we're looking at, I'm changing my strategy on this log. I knew we'd have some spotting in here, but this ambrosia is a bit surprise. I didn't really think we'd see any ambrosia today. To be honest with you, there's ambrosia going on everywhere in here. And ambrosia, what that means is, for you guys new to the channel, the ambrosia beetle gets inside of maple and those little tracks that you see in here, the ambrosia tracks, that's caused by that bug as it goes, or that, that beetle rather, hope I'm saying this right, that's caused by the beetle as it travels through the tree, the track that it leaves changes the color of the maple. You can see where the beetles have gone through this log right here and it's fantastic. Looks really good. A lot of people call this wormy maple, that's the same thing. Really nice though. But based on what we're seeing now, I think I'm going to do nine quarter slabs, which is two and a quarter inches on the thickness if you're new to this channel. We'll probably get about five or six out of this one. I was going to do lumber if it was just spalted, but since we have spalting that's really nice and ambrosia on top of that, and the width is about maybe 16 to 18 inches right here, down here on the other end, it's going to flare out to about 27 it looks like. Our best money on something like this is live edge slabs. Even though I'm about sick to death, of live edge slabs because they're so darn heavy and they take longer to dry. If I did boards on this, I'd be shooting myself in the foot. I can double my money if I do slabs. 
easily, easily. So that's what we're gonna do, guys. Nine quarter slabs. This is a nice log, a lot nicer than I thought it would be. we got some nails right here in the middle. The good thing about this is I got one cut left. I think I'll limp that blade through the last cut and we'll be okay. But, try to get these nails out. Always take the time to pull the nails out as soon as you see them. Well, this handy little nail puller right here, people ask me about this all the time. You can get this off Amazon. There's a link down below, go check it out. I bought mine several years ago. Works really good for nails.